Hi, welcome to this video brought to you by Cybrosis Technologies. In this section, we are discussing inventory module. Odo Inventory Management is a resourceful module which can be utilized by any business organization irrespective of their size and complexity. Odo Inventory is crafted by fully integrating with other applications like purchase, sales for more efficiency. It is also integrated with e-commerce, manufacturing, repairs for better management service. To know more about how inventory helps in your business, please refer our blog Odo 13 Inventory for your business. Now we are going to discuss the inventory module. This is the inventory module overview. These are the menu options. Here we can see loads of cards. These cards are the operations done in each warehouse. I think grouping by warehouses is much more simpler. These are the operations, receives, internal transfers, this is pick, pack and the delivery orders. We can also see the status of each operations. This is late. And this is back orders. There are two back orders. Now we are going to discuss each menu option in this module. First of all, operation. This is the transfer option. Here we can create operation types like delivery orders, receipts, and internal transfers. Here we can choose the contact and also the operation type whether it is receipts, internal transfers or delivery orders. According to the operation type, the source and destination location will be set. If you have any source document related to this transfer, you can mention that here. Here you can select the owner. When validating the transfer, the products will be assigned to this owner. Here you can set the initial demand for this product. Here you can set the shipping information related to this transfer. And here you can set the priority for this transfer. And here you can assign the responsible person for this particular transfer. In this form, you can validate this transfer. Next option is batch transfer. It is a process which combines the lines from different orders, thus saving time, productivity and reduction of labor cost. Batch picking is defined as a group of transfers picked together to make a batch. Here, transfers include the receipts, delivery orders and internal transfers. To know more about how to create batch picking and its working, please click the link above. Next option is Inventory Adjustment. This is to set inventory adjustment like update quantity on hand. Let's see how it's done. This is the location where you are going to set the stock. Here you can select which product's quantity to be updated. By clicking on start inventory, you can start the inventory adjustment. Here you can give how much, how many quantities to be updated. Now you have done the inventory adjustment. Next option is scrap. The product with manufacturing defect or expired products must be managed and tracked. In Odo, there is a feature called scrap for this purpose. Here you can select which product to be scrapped. 
here you can set the quantities how many quantities you want to scrap if you want to select the particular package of this product you can select that from here you can set owner for this scrap product here you can set the source location here you can set where where this product to be scrapped if you have any source document you can attach that here like you can mention that here by clicking on validate option you can confirm the scrap order next option is landed cost landed cost is the total price of product once it has arrived at buyer's hand this includes the transportation fee duty handling fees etc these prices are added and divided to get the actual selling price of product to know more about landed cost please click the link above next option is rent scheduler rent scheduler is a calculation engine which plans and prioritizes production and purchasing automatically according to rules defined on products we'll discuss rent scheduler in reordering section the next menu option is master data here we can see the option for creating the product and this is for product variants and this is reordering rules here we are going to create a reordering rule we can choose the product minimum quantity maximum quantity and the quantity multiple to know more about how to create a reordering rule please click the link above and the next option is notes and serial number you can set a unique serial number or loads to a product this is the product packages we can create a package also we can create the package type this is the shipping weight owner location and the contents in the package in the inventory module a lots of reporting options are available let's check that this is the warehouse analysis same as the sales module and purchase module we get the complete analysis of inventory module and this is the inventory report by this option we can get the inventory at a date we get the forecasted inventory by this option forecasted inventory this is the inventory valuation It is the reported measure of the stock of the inventory that influences expense of goods sold, the net profit, and the overall gain on the income statement. Here also we get the inventory at a date. Stock moves. We get the stock move of each location. and this is the product move of each product next menu option is configuration under configuration we can see warehouse we can create new warehouse from here also we can create new locations in rules menu it reduces the inventory levels and thereby the cost of storing goods in the inventory to know more about how to create a rules 
please click the link above next is routes inventory routing allows a supplier to deliver products to a number of customers simultaneously to optimize inventory management vehicle routing and delivery scheduling this is applicable when a supplier needs to deliver products to a number of customers in an area subject to various constraints by clicking on create button we can create routes next is operation types we can create operation types from here in put away rules it decides where to store a product when it reaches warehouse if you want to know more about put away rules check the link given in the description This is for creating product categories and for product attributes. This is for product packagings. We have discussed this before. Next is barcode nomenclature. Here we can set barcode nomenclature for inventory or POS module. Odoo provides separate barcode module. Here we can give the barcode nomenclature name and here we can give the rules. To know more about barcode nomenclature please click the link given below This menu option is for creating UOM categories and this is for UOM and in shipping methods option this we have discussed before in sales module and this is for creating delivery packages here we can give the package type carrier integration here we can give the package type here we can give the details of the package now we are discussing the various settings options in the inventory module here we can see the barcode scanner this option enables the barcode scan feature here we can see the default nomenclature and uh, this is batch picking we already discussed about this and this is the product reservation when to reserve sold products here we can see the two options and this is the shipping policy ship products as soon as available with back orders or ship all products at once and these settings are related to shipping there is both sms confirmation and email confirmation option to computing shipping cost and these are the shipping connectors and here comes our familiar product settings variance product packaging and the unit of measure this is the traceability options and uh, we can set loads of serial number here setting expiration dates and this option is to set the uh, owner on a particular product here is the option for displaying loads and serial number both in delivery slips and invoices okay here comes the major topic landed cost we already have a video on this and uh, allowing locations on the warehouse options to create multi warehouses and this is for multi step routes coming to advanced scheduling here we can set the security lead time for sales and the security lead time for purchase in this video session we are explained very important inventory module in odo discussed all the features in the module you can connect these features to your inventory management 
and see how this module influences your inventory. Now we are signing off. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.